So my name is Skyler. I'm with the DevCon team, and I'm here to say to you all today, Bienvenidos a Bogota, and welcome back to DevCon. We've wanted to been say, we wanted to say that for a long time, a long time. It's been three years, three years since the last DevCon, three years since we last met in Osaka, Japan in 2019, three years of planning this DevCon, postponing, planning again, postponing again, and I must say, it feels great to be here with you all today. We're here to celebrate a little bit of what we've done over the last three years and what we still have yet to do and to make progress towards a lot of the outstanding items we still need to do into the future. And we're excited for this reunion to take place here in Latin America. And what's even cooler, yeah, round of applause for that, no? What's even cooler though is that there's representation from almost every single Latin American country here right now. Let's give it up for those from Latin America. Kinica is de Latin America. Yeah. Super. For three years, we've continuously communicated to all of them the same thing. Our goal was to bring DevCon not just to Colombia, not just to Bogota, but to the Latin American region as a whole. And we emphasize this with our road to DevCon, where just in the past year, we've seen 10 plus events organized around LATAM, everything from Ethereum Rio, ETH LATAM Buenos Aires, to Mexico City, to Lima, to Santiago, to Ethereum Sao Paulo, to Quito, to Bogota where we are now, and soon to be Medellin and Panama uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks. And this is just talking about major events. This isn't talking about the meetups, the many meetups that have happened along the way. And important to note is that all of these events are community organized events. DevCon is the only one organized by the Ethereum Foundation. The rest done by volunteers in their free time because they care about Ethereum, they believe in what it's capable of, and they want to improve this world. Not many communities have this much passion and soul. But even still, some of you have been asking, but why Latin America? I've seen some doubts and criticisms, some of you on Twitter probably as well. It's dangerous, they say. It's underdeveloped, they say. Why bring our precious community to a risky developing region when we could stay close to home in our well-developed, comfortable countries? And quite honestly, I think that's the wrong idea. Ethereum is a coordination mechanism for all of us. It allows things like greater financial inclusion, power over your digital assets, stopping unjust censorship, sovereign control over your identity, and many more. And in my opinion, Ethereum can be most impactful today in developing regions around the world. Places where serious censorship really does exist, where many don't have access to the basic financial systems, where your identity is not guaranteed nor owned by the individual, where coordination failures are rampant in the form of corruption or even in the lack of public goods funding. And as much as it might be more comfortable to stay in developed regions of the world, that's not what we're here for. We're here to use Ethereum to make the world a better place. And the world exists outside the comfortable bubbles many of us live in. In fact, most of the world lives in these developing regions. And this is why we, are excited to be here in LATAM with you all. To one, expose the region to Ethereum and the incredible community that composes it. And two, to remind the Ethereum community about the types of problems we really are trying to solve with Ethereum, which is not what's the hottest NFT, nor where the best DeFi yield is, or other similar distractions, but rather, how can we provide greater financial inclusion a more accessible network with lower fees, higher censorship resistance, identity systems that are more accessible and sovereign, payment systems for the masses, true digital ownership, and much, much more. These are the problems 
that we need to focus on. And we need to continue focusing on improving the world and continuing to improve Ethereum to be able to do so. And on that note, I'd like to introduce someone who's actively been helping with just that. Someone who helped herd one of the largest coordination challenges in tech history, also known as the merge. Yes. That someone is Tim Baker, coordinator for all core devs. So let's give Tim a big warm welcome. <laughs> 